It's an anti, let me repeat that, anti-rape song. Um, I don't know, I just thought, I got tired of people thinking, trying to put too much meaning into my lyrics, you know, to be too, uh, not making no sense, you know, so I decided uh, to be really blunt and bold. Well, we had an idea of a, of a sound that we've been wanting for a long time, you know, because of Steve Albini's production from a lot of other bands like Breeders and the Pixies and stuff like that. It's just it's just that sound that we really like. We thought that sounded so natural and real. And it had a, it has a really beautiful ambience to it. <laughs> On the, on the record, it says recorded by. It doesn't say produced by. That's Ethic. He's like Mr. Ethic. That's his thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we gave him $2 million. That's <laughs> true. Up until now, Kurt Cobain has been the musical force behind Nirvana, writing all the music and lyrics to their songs. But for the track Scentless Apprentice on their new album, all three members collaborated for the very first time. Is this a trend that will continue? Hell yes takes the pressure off of me. Um, Dave came up with the drum beat, and we just built the, the song off of the drum. And the riff. Yeah, yeah. he came up with the drum beat, and then he showed me the riff, you know? And it was really simple, and, and we thought, well, this this could work. And, and then I was thinking, hey, this is kind of bonehead. You know? And then I thought, well, we'll work on it. And then and it turned out great. And now I'm excited about it, because now we can write together even more. You know, we're really passive aggressive people. We don't like to, you know, complain to each other very often. And that's probably why we survived. We should go into we therapy, survived. all of us. Sit down with this therapist. No way. Really? We should just bitch about each other in, in articles, you know, separately. Yeah, read the book. Yeah. <laughs> read the book, I know, yeah. Nirvana's authorized book, Come As You Are, filled with intimate details of the trio and their rise to the top, is just as revealing to the band as it is to their fans. I learned a lot from that book. Yeah. <laughs> well, I learned back. a lot from almost, you know, the first two chapters. Mm -hmm. But I should just shut up sometimes. <laughs>